Hello everyone and welcome back to Phantasmagoria with me, TommyTos75. It's chapter two, it's day two, and the husband's having all those mood swings again. And he still wants some drain cleaner. He seemed quite adamant about it. So I've come to town to see if we can buy some. And then we can slip it in his coffee or something. Which would be terribly irresponsible. Can't interact with these individuals. Oh, the antique store probably won't sell drain cleaner, will it? General store's on the other side of town, isn't it? Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to. Uh-huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? All right. I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hi. Hello. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking, thanks. Take your time, dear. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. Thanks. Do you have any antique drain cleaner? For cleaning antique drains? No? Right, I did notice the gramophone can we repair ours can i actually interact with anything apart from the woman i can leave the screen but that's about it okay so this scene is completely pointless talk to the woman uh ma'am yes hi i'm adrian delaney I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe you... tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? You're not a writer, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? No. Yeah, sure. Oh, you thank you. What's your next book about? Oh, now you're going to have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen, I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. If you ever have any questions, I'm the one to ask. Great, I'll do just that. Thanks, uh... Lou Ann. Only, uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay, thanks, Lou. Anytime. Well, that was useless. Right, let's smash her over the head. No? Let's show her a newspaper. Do a tarot reading. Give her some money. Eh? I have a question. Oh. oh, hello. Can I help you? I hate to bother you again, but I'm very curious about the old Carnivash estate. Can you tell me about the place? That is an interesting place. How do you like living there? Um, I'm not sure yet. I think it's going to take a little getting used to. Well, I don't envy you. Now, why do you say that? You know, people act very strange when I tell them I bought the Carnivash estate. It's no wonder. It's rumored to be haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Of course not. Some uncertainty there, wasn't there? Why? The ghost of Carno supposedly haunts the place. It's not even supposed to be safe to live there. Well, has anybody ever been hurt? Or, God forbid, killed there? I don't remember any deaths, but plenty of injuries. 
Over the years, the people who owned the place used to bring workmen in to fix things up, but invariably some bizarre accident would occur. One man had his arm chopped off, another man tumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. He was paralyzed for life. God, that's terrible. Maybe these men were just careless. Well, maybe that could be. Even so, you be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Does that mean if I talk to her again, we'll get another different dialogue? Or can I just hit her over the head with armor? No! Fine. Let's try it. Excuse me. Yes? I just have a simple question. Okay. Ask away. Well, I'm very curious. Has anybody at all lived in the Carnavash estate since Carno's death? I'm really not sure. The Templeton family bought the place about 10 years after Carno's death. That would have been around, oh, 1910. There was talk of turning it into a museum. Electricity was added, but because of a rash of injuries and bizarre events, it never came about. But has anybody at all lived in the house before us? I really don't think so. The Templetons never seemed to show any interest about the place. Uh, I think they were bothered by the reputation the estate had. Anyway, it just seemed to sit there and be handed down from father to son to grandson. That's very interesting. Thanks. No problem. Okay. So, have we exhausted the dialogue yet? Hello? Hi there. Hi. I'm very curious about Carno. Wasn't he a world-renowned illusionist? He sure was. Carno was in his prime in the 1880s and 90s. He traveled all over the world with an extravagant magic show. Uh, we probably wouldn't be very impressed by it today, but back then they sure were. But I've heard that his magic acts tend to be a bit on the darker side. Yes, I've had that impression. But do you know what he was like as a man? He was very secretive. I don't think anybody really knew Carno, not even his wives. That brings up another good question. Exactly how many wives did he have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. And a half. He was married five times, I think. All of them from the theater circuit. Most of them were in his magic show. Hence the half. Why so many? What happened to them? Goodness, you are full of questions, aren't you? Well, let me see. Two or three of them died, and as for the others, uh, I don't know. One thing about Carno, though, that has never been proven or disproven. It is rumored he was into the black arts. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, thanks for your time. Sure, you're welcome. Okay. Let's annoy her again. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello. Sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little girl, I think. Something happened to her, but I can't remember what. Why? Oh, that's okay. I was just wondering. All right. Have a nice day. Me too. Okay. So he had a little girl. Um, what else is she wondering? Excuse me, Lou. Hello, Adrian. Can I help you? Well, I've been thinking about Carno. Do you know how he died? I don't know the details, but one night it was messy. Carno and his wife Marie had a violent argument, after which they both lay dead. The police found them the next morning. That was in the late 1890s. Well, where's Carno now? I think he's buried in a tomb somewhere on your property, along with Marie. 
Now that's a scary thought. Oh, he can't harm you now. Unless, of course, you believe in ghosts. Well, I don't. Carno's dead and gone. Of course, dear, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Shall we pass to her again? Is any of this information actually useful? She's not doing it. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> Just looking around. Okay, okay. let me know if you need me. Okay. I suspect that's all we're going to get for now. Right, so let's go. Ah, yes, we need to get to the general store. I forgot what I came into town for in the first place. General store. Which is on the other side of town. Let's go this way. There it is. I thought it was further away. I guess not. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I'm just going to stand awkwardly. While we... Um, there's nothing else here, just... Am I looking at myself or what's on that shelf? Is it drain cleaner by any chance? Oh, it's that. Right. Could I put money in it? Hmm. It gives me the option to. Let's try talking to him first. I said, let's... Is, is anything going to happen? There we go. Do you have anything that would clear a badly clogged drain? You know, a drain cleaner? A uh, drain cleaner, huh? Well, let's see. Let me think. Ah, uh, here we are. This will do the job. Great. You gotta be careful with that, though. That's sulfuric acid. I mean, it'll burn through practically anything. I know. Don't worry. All right, then that'll be uh, 475, please. But it's just sulfuric acid. Okay. Well, I guess you're not interested. Let me what? know if you change your mind. What? But I was... I was giving him the money. Let's try again. Um, there we go. Right. Yes, I am interested in buying that bottle of drain cleaner. Come on. This will do the job. Give me the icon. All right, then that'll be uh, 475, please. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Here's five. All right, out of five. And 25 cents a change. Thank you. You know, this is a small town. We don't get many visitors. Are you new here? Yeah, my husband and I just bought the old Carnabosch estate. We're doing a little renovating. The Carnabosch estate? So you're the ones who moved there. Now wait, why does everybody look so shocked when I tell them I bought that place? What's wrong with it? Don't you know? Know what? That place is haunted. 
Haunted? Shh, not so loud. They say it's haunted by the ghost of that uh, magician. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Carno? Yeah, that's it. They say he died a violent death there one night, along with his wife. That was almost a hundred years ago. A strange thing still, uh, still happened there. Like what? Well, like, well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't keep up with those things, but if you're curious to know a little more, why, uh, there's this old geezer. His name is Malcolm. He lives out of town a ways. He actually used to live with Carno as a boy. As a boy? How old is this guy? I haven't seen him for quite a while, but I'll tell you, he is old. He's gonna be over a hundred. And you say he used to live with Carno? That's what they say. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, thanks, uh... Harv. Well, thanks, Harv. You've been very informative. I'll look into this Malcolm guy. Well, good luck. Okay. Oh, I can explore the shop more. I'll go and explore the shop. There's... Uh, oh, just more shop. What's this? Free soup bones. Okay. We definitely need some bones. Can I... Can I hit the sign with the hammer? No. Right, let's take a soup bone. Go on. Take a soup bone. Because why wouldn't you want to carry bones around? Oh, I know what that'll be for. I know what that'll be for. Okay, can't do anything else. Right, we're off. Let's say goodbye to the shopkeeper. Harv. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking. Okay. That was a great camera view. Is it because they didn't have an animation for him for that conversation? I suspect so. Right, let's go. Oh, let's go. Because I know what to do with this bone. A large soup bone. A large soup bone. Spin it round, oh yeah. Can I examine it? Actually, since we did the... Can I actually read anything on there? No, okay. What else was the tarot cards? No, can't examine them. Not really. And then there was... Ah! Yes, we, we're going to need this sulfuric acid. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. No, no. I'm guessing there's nothing on the hammer either. Well, it was worth a look. Or maybe it wasn't. Your opinion may vary. 
Come on, Hadrian. Let's get over to Scary Dog Country. Nice doggy. Got a bone for you. Good dog. Nice doggy. Excellent. Now we go in. This large, badly drawn fence. Okay. Is the door open? Knockity knockity knock. Yes, what do you want? Uh, ma'am, I just bought the old Carnivage estate. I understand the man who lives here, Malcolm I think his name is, used to live there as a young boy. So? Well, I was wondering if maybe I could speak to Malcolm about his experiences there. I have a lot of questions to ask him about the place. No. Mr. Warm Shadow is a very old man. I don't see any reason for you to come in and upset him with unpleasant memories. But I... I, I said no. I like her. Can we pour acid on the door? No. Okay, is there another way in? No, there isn't. Well, that was a waste of time. Or maybe it wasn't. Can't do anything to the door. No. Another key fit? No. Okay, I guess we'll go in. Very, very slowly. Really is a beautiful gate. Right, let's go and clean the drains, I guess. Back at the house. Because why not? I like how the roof of the car reflects studio lighting, but they're outdoors. I don't... Oh, hello, that's open now. That wasn't open before. Oh no, the carriage is broken. Fix it. I can do before I... There's a pulley system. And I can explore more of the barn, but... What's that? Okay... There's a ladder up there. And what's in there? A scary 
scary squeak. Hello? Hello? Okay. Let's go this way. And she stops fiddling with her ear. Right, what have we got? A pot. Hmm, someone's been living here. Don, don't scare me like that. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. Like you? Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. Probably just some vagrants. I doubt they're even here anymore. They better not be. Because if I catch their asses around here. Don, don't. They're probably gone. You know, we always have our trusty watch cat's baths. Yeah, right. He's a real charming fellow, isn't he? No wonder with a ponytail like that. He's also a professional actor. A professional. Hard to believe, I know. Okay, he's messed all that up. I guess we got that away. No, I'm not ready to leave just yet. Well, I might be. Is that what am I supposed to oh wait hang on can I fetch it down? No that doesn't reach. Um let's go have another look. <sighs> Not a clue. Not a clue. Perhaps Perhaps then we just go and clean the drain. Just make a mental note there's something spooky in the barn. Back to the house. Has that dumb music stopped? Yes, it has. Where was the drain that needs cleaning? Was it this away? Nope. Was it? Oh, that's the. Uh, oh, that's that room. So that's not it. Oh, come now, stop. Leave. I'm just looking for the drain that needs cleaning. Must be up there somewhere. Is it that way? Uh, I'm getting completely lost now. 
That's the teddy bear room. I'm sure it's on the second floor. So that way. No, that's the electric chair room. I'm completely lost. Damn it, it's locked. What do you want? I'm busy. I want to come in. Come on, Don. Here's the drain cleaner you requested. Jeez. Yeah. Thanks. Honey, are you feeling all right? Is your head still hurt? Adrian, leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, how about a little dinner? You could come downstairs and help me. We could make a little pasta, maybe some salad, a little vino. Yeah, it sounds great. Call me when it's ready. God. Charming film. Blimey, already? Okay. Chapter 3, Thursday, October the 20th, 12.30pm. Yeah, I guess so. So good to get you out of that dark room. Yes, Beth. Well, I've got work to do, Adrian. We're not finished yet. Don, it can wait. You need to take some time out to relax. You're so stressed out. I've got publishing deadlines. Can you understand that? You see, I don't get the same ass-kissing royal treatment your publisher gives you. Don? How can you say that? I certainly do understand dead Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's a headache, that's all. But... I'm gonna go lie down. Maybe you were right. Maybe I need some rest. Well, that's all we've got time for, so I'm going to end that there. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and join me in the next episode and we'll go and investigate whoever or whatever that was. But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.